I'm pretty sure that this is going to be Blue Eddy's best-selling product, the all-new Apex 300, your introduction to 240 volts in a portable power station. That's right, at the time of releasing this video, Blue Eddy just launched their Apex 300. So when you select 240 volts, it also gives you 120 volts at the same time. You can start small and scale right up. You can put up to three head units and up to 18 batteries for a maximum of 58 kilowatt hours of storage. For an entire large home backup system, off-grid system, a whole RV system, or a very, very large solar off-grid system. To go over what this has in the head unit, so we have a voltage selector. We can select 120 volts or 240 volts, but it also gives you dual 120 and 240 at the same time. You have an eco button, AC on button, charging mode, silent, automatic, and turbo. I just have mine on auto all the time. On the front, you have four 120 volt AC outputs. Now on the side over here, you have huge 240 volt or 110. AC outputs. So you have a 50 amp max, a 30 amp max, and another 50 amp max that can either be an output or an AC input for a gas generator or your grid. On the other side of it, you have your two inputs for your dual MPPT solar charge controllers. So you can bring in two different kind of voltages. So if you have Solar panels of this size and solar panels of this size, you can bring them in or bring in kind of the same amount. So the head unit, you can get any expansion batteries. This is the B300K. It also works with their B300 and also their B300S. So what kind of battery does Blue Eddy offer in their products like the Apex 300 now? 17 year battery life now because it uses an automotive grade lithium iron phosphate battery cell. Over 6,000 cycles. So let's see, you set this up properly, the return on investment when you purchase it and get into it's about two years if you set it up properly, and the battery lasts 17 years. Hmm, I'd say that's pretty much a no-brainer. So when you get one of Blue Eddy's expansion batteries, they have this new low-profile battery expansion cable, okay? So you literally plug this in, click lock, and you have expanded your batteries. So this is one of their older cables. So when you get a B300K or an expansion battery, you get the nice low profile ones as this sticks out quite a bit. But if you want to expand the port some more, this is how much the old one st stuck out. Click it into lock. Both are fine. This just kind of sticks out. So if you're going to get multiple units and want, don't want this sticking out, this is fine for my little cabin actually. But either cord, the low profile or the regular one, I just expanded this to 2700 watts times three. So what you're looking at with the two B300 expansion batteries is eight kilowatts of backup. So the head unit has 2,764 watt hours, and so does each one of these. Now, when you purchase the head unit, the Apex 300, it just comes with a few things. A 120 volt AC charging cable for AC input. It also comes with a DC input, cigarette lighter port to plug in to the DC input on this. A grounding screw. And... The typical very good Blue Eddy manual. When you get the B300K, it comes with their low profile battery connection device and a manual for that as well. So, all other accessories, depending on what you need, Blue Eddy has anything that you could possibly need. Do your research for your application. You get all that stuff separately and you can do whatever you want. So, some of the accessories, depending on your needs, will be the AT1 smart distribution box, the Hub A1 the sub panel, the hub D2, the Solar X 4K, the S1 smart plug, the charger one, which I have in my van actually. You can even get a trolley to specifically hold this thing. A 30 amp charging cable, a 50 amp charging cable, a charging cable for an EV station, another battery connection 
cable of two different types, 12 and 24 volt, literally anything you could possibly want. Now, if you have an electric ve vehicle, you can charge this with 11 and a half kilowatts of charging, and it has the industry's leading 50 amp bypass. So if you have the grid tied into this and you're charging something like an electric vehicle, it will bypass and take the grid through this unit at nearly 12 kilowatts if it's too much for just the off-grid system to handle. Now, if you live in a place like California, and this is probably coming everywhere in North America where they have peak load hours, where it costs more for electricity at certain times, you can enable the peak load shifting in the Blue Eddy app. So it prioritizes charging using solar power in the grid during off-peak hours and powers your home during peak pricing period. If you set this up properly with the capabilities of this thing, the payoff is as little as two years, two-year return on investment. You'd have to be silly not to start using portable power stations. Now, as this is kind of a bigger solar generator, it actually doesn't have any DC outputs on this particular model. If you do need some DC outputs and still want to go with kind of their new Apex 300, you can get something called a Hub One. So that offers you two cigarette lighter ports, two 100-watt USB-C ports, two USB-A ports, and you can simply have that if you do need DC outputs. In a lot of cases, you actually don't for a whole home backup system like I'm utilizing this for. Now, if you want a seriously large solar system, I'm not sure that I'd even need that. It has two NPPT charge controllers on the side that is 2,400 watts PV input. If you figure you need more than that, Blue Eddy just has the world's first four kilowatt PV voltage regulator that you can get for this. And you can achieve a maximum input of 30,000 watts input from solar panels with that accessory. Now, if the power goes out, this is manageable for somebody strong, right? You, or you can put it on a little cart. You could put it on a little wheeled cart in your garage. If you do have a power outage and you don't have it permanently hooked up to your grid and panel, which I'd actually recommend that you do. You can wheel it in and if you want to use your huge electric range or your dryer or you want to heat some water or you have a 240 volt water pump on your farm or that runs your well or something like that, you can wheel this out. You could even run a welder if you want, 240 volts in a single head unit. If you're doing a grid tie system, so you're hooked up to the grid, your batteries are fully charged, you don't even need solar panels for this. If the grid goes off, it has a zero middle millisecond, so instant power backup system. So if you lose the grid, it's going to instantly keep all of your essential appliances in your home running. Now for super fast charging, it has a NEMA L1450 R port. So you can use a 240 volt generator to fast charge this, which means that your generator that's on propane, diesel, natural gas, or gasoline has to run a lot less. So I know a little bit about battery management systems. This has an AI BMS, multi-level protection against overcharging, overheating, and short circuits for your battery. So all in one, simple unit, Blue Eddy does it all for you. Two handles, you can carry the whole system around wherever you want to go. Whereas some of this experimenting that I'm doing with raw lithium cells and soldering BMS systems on and programming things, it's a pain in the butt, not portable at all. This is an all-in-one. If you don't know what I'm talking about, that's why you just go with a portable power station. Now, with the do-it-yourself system I'm doing, so I'm putting BMSs on raw lithium cells, making 48-volt battery packs and stuff, I have to kind of be careful and know what I'm doing. The Blue Eddy has a hot swap, so I can have the battery on and this on and literally plug the battery in or multiple batteries, different charging things, and it will very smartly not hurt your system. It's kind of a very consumer-friendly system. If you don't know a lot about solar things, you get an all-in-one system for your own safety, especially when you're getting into some big power like the Apex 300 now offers. Essentially, for the beginner solar or just an all-in-one system, Blue Eddy has everything co covered for essentially every application you could possibly think of. 
So I actually use all of my Blue Eddy products. This is the Elite 200. It's a little one. You can't expand the battery system, but you can put a little bit of solar in. It's just 110. And this is what I'm taking on my road trip in the van, and it serves its purpose. This AC300, it powers a small off-grid cabin. I definitely don't need 240 volts. So this head unit doesn't have a battery. You have one at battery, maybe two, and that's all I need for a little off-grid cabin. Now, 240 volts. This can power your entire large RV. This can power your entire home, an entire home backup, an entire home large solar system. You can start with just one of them, expand to up to three head units if you want more power, and the industry's leading grid tie. So if you have grid tie coming in and your load is more than just the portable power station can handle, it'll pull from the grid, 12 kilowatts for that. And again, you can start small and expand to literally a system big enough for any of your possible needs. It's just like a vehicle. I have a fuel efficient car, a van when I need a little bit more space or taking on road trips, a large truck for hauling, and a very, very large truck for hauling a lot of stuff. It's the same one selecting a portable generator. Every one serves its own purpose. But I think if you're going for a whole home expandable system, you can start with what you figure you need, however many batteries you figure you need, maybe one head unit. As your finances become available or you figure out your power consumption, you can expand to up to three and take your whole home off grid or eliminate your electric bill. All of Blue Eddy products work on their app. So as you can see on my app, I have a lot of Blue Eddy products for all my needs. I like that they connect via Wi-Fi, also Bluetooth. So in the van, I just connect Bluetooth. In the off-grid cabin out in the bush, I connect via Bluetooth because I don't have Wi-Fi out there. And in the house, I just have this hooked up to Wi-Fi so I can see what's going on. So my house is actually quite small and most of the power consumption on my farm is for the big stuff we do for our big solar system that we're currently working on. But for our little house, which is just consumption stuff, this is the system that can fully power my house. Now, I still have the grid out here, which is nice. It's, and I'm considering the grid like a generator. So instead of having to feed a generator, propane, diesel, some gasoline, some other fuel source, even natural gas backup, I'm going to keep my electrical grid, tie it into the Apex 300, but put enough of a solar system in and enough battery storage that 95 days out of 100 or 99 days out of 100, without even thinking about it, I am completely off the grid. Now, if the grid ceased to exist in the future or something like that, we're going to have to kind of monitor what we use. So I can't use a stove at the same time as a dryer at the same time as a water heater, right? We have to kind of plan out our day. Maybe we only dry our clothes in the dryer when it's sunny outside. Now, because my house is quite small, actually, I am putting this permanently in the crawl space. So this summer's project is to install the Apex 300 and these two batteries in my house, it's going to almost completely eliminate our energy bill for the house. Now you have to figure out your power consumption. So we have an electric range. This can power it. Our dryer, this can power it. Water heater is maybe a little bit much because it's a larger water heater. We are going to start with this, see how it goes. It also has the industry's leading bypass. So when I hook the grid up to it, if this can't keep up, the grid is going to go through this and output. So if my wife is cooking, running the dryer, and the water is heating all at the same time, it's enough to do this with the grid tie to it. Now, because this is your introduction to a total off-grid system or a whole home backup system, I'm going to start with this, and then I determine our power consumption if I want to go complete off the grid or have absolute zero electricity bill. Two of these units, a little bit more battery storage is gonna get us through those cloudy days and a very actually small solar panel system is going to take our house completely off the grid, including 
water heating. Now, of course, the self-reliant guy that I am, I do have gas and diesel generators and even a propane one. So if the grid ceased to exist, I can have that fuel source and make that my grid. Since I have the electrical grid out here, and while times are good, electricity is getting very expensive, if I do need that little boost and little additional stuff on blizzardy, cloudy days where the solar panels can't keep up or our house consumption is too much, I have the option to expand this with a few more batteries, expand this to an additional head unit. The technology gets so good from companies like Blue Eddy so fast, it's hard to keep up. So if you're looking for a whole off-grid system, a whole home backup system, your introduction to 240 volt power in a single head unit portable power station, the Apex 300 is what you need. But again, it depends what you want. You have a little cabin that doesn't need 240. The AC300 is absolutely a great unit as well. If you need doing the van life or just little road trips, I take this thing, I don't know how many places, with a little 200 watt panel here and there. And this, for a lot of things, is all I need. The Apex 300 is something that I'd use to do our Airbnb off grid cabin. My whole home off-grid system, a very, very large RV that requires 240 volts. The payoff when you purchase something like this guy, the new Apex 300, is literally as low as two years, right? Not 10 years, not 40 years, two years. Protect your family from any power outages, protect all that food in your freezer. You can start with this, a battery or two, kind of figure out what your energy consumption is, for myself, this is what I'm starting with, putting it in my house. And because I'm also heating water with electricity, I could probably use a second unit, simply tie it together, a little tiny bit more battery storage, very minimal solar panel system, and have the grid tied and this programmed that if the batteries get too low or I have those cloudy days, the solar isn't cutting it, I can take from the grid. So for the debut deal in the description below, there's a link to save you some money. You can check it out. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe as well. And maybe you can see me install this uh, to take my house off my power bill. But the new Apex 300, I'm pretty sure is gonna be Blue Eddy's best-selling product because of its introduction into 240 volts in the head unit, which means you can start small, expand as your finances become available you need more power or you figure out what you need but you can kind of get into the system with just a simple head unit to start is all you need all blue eddy other products everything serves their own purpose there'll be links in the description below for all these other things as well apex 300 wow good job blue eddy thanks for watching we'll see you next time